Socks are clean. They're a little snug. You just gotta pull them on. Ugh. There we go. They're on. Okay, so I'm at the first portage, and now comes the real test. Okay, so I don't feel any water coming in. I don't feel any kind of cold temperature coming from the water. And I'm not slipping around. A perfect de-canoeing at the portage. All right guys, so what we have here is good old Algonquin mud pit and I'm gonna go through it. Okay, nice and slow, don't slip. Oh yeah, no worries about getting your shoes filthy, you can just wash it off, perfect. All right, I know what you guys are gonna say, that gum boots suck on the trail because they have no ankle support. So I'm going to go up this slightly treacherous path here and see how they perform. Okay, here I go. Oh. Oh, my foot got a bit caught. That's okay. A little slimy log there, but Oh. Piece of cake. Boots are wonderful. hurts. Turn that fucking thing off. So yesterday we got to camp and we spent a lot of time setting up, doing chores and things. So as I was walking around yesterday doing stuff, I noticed a couple flaws with the boots. Every time I take a step, there's this crease right here and it cuts into my leg. But they're still super cool, so I'm still wearing them. All right, so for this next part, we're gonna be testing out the um, fire resistance of these boots and see how long it can go before it starts to get really hot. What was that? I heard something. So it's our final day here. Had a bit of a scare last night. Had to do some running. But uh, good news is, is that the boots held up super nice. I didn't slip or anything. They've got pretty, pretty damn good traction. So um, I'll check back in with you at the end of the trip, let you know my final thoughts about the boots. Piss off. <laughs> We're back at the car now. So I think I would have to give these boots a four, maybe a 4.5 out of five rating, just because my feet didn't get wet the entire time. Um, but they were a bit tight on a couple spots and I got some small bruises, but they did loosen up over the three days. 
And so that's it for this product review of the Canadian Tire 1999 gumboots. Now I'm gonna go eat a hamburger. Bye.